how it was. Okay, so you left gifts inside this stump? Yeah, I left gifts, the cookies. I made the salted caramel cookies. And I have put them behind here. And then I put this back over it, and then I put animal cracker, a bag of animal crackers, over the top and pushed it down so you couldn't see it. And then when we came back, these were both laying on the ground, literally. That one was right there. Like that, that down on the closer. ground. So the I found the animal cookies right here. Shoved in, and the and the the homemade cookies were gone. And then Yvonne started looking around and found the print. Wow, but now that's pretty cool. I've got some yeah, we've there. got what well, looks like toes right there. Look we've got a, a break right, right here. A yeah, good one. That is a good one. That's awesome. So cookies in here. Bark in front of them. Uh, animal crackers on top. Mm -hmm. So the cookies were removed by way of taking the bark out, and then the animal crackers were just one, pressed back into the spot. Yeah. Right on. And then they left the fruit. Yep. I took the rest Very of the cool. stuff because I didn't want to leave any stuff that's going to That is into so the awesome. Look at that. Very cool. <laughs> that is pretty right cool. on. I thought that was a pretty darn good print. Very good. Okay, so. There was a recorder? Yeah. Some of the other campers had wanted me to see if I could get some activity over here, so they asked if the, I could put a recorder somewhere over here next to my camp because there had been so much activity. So on the last night, I agreed, and I let them know that I was going to put it out, and then I opened the window, and I had duct tape a recorder right next to the window where it was open. What time did we come back to bed? Oh, it was after midnight. It was pretty late. Yeah. And we came back, and both the kids were knocked out sleeping, and we were carrying them, and Yvonne and, uh, who came over? Pat? No, she left. Must Penny? <gasps> no, it wasn't Penny. Samara? Yeah, Samara. Yvonne okay. and Samara helped us come over, because I, I couldn't hold the flashlight and carry the kids. <laughs> <laughs> so they walked us over, and they opened the door, and when they opened the door, the radio was just on. Full blast. It was like, <laughs> oh my gosh. It was like, holy crap. I, I was surprised because I could hear it a little bit right here, but I didn't say anything. I wasn't sure. I'm surprised we couldn't hear it. Over well, you know, campfire. we were over there thinking we could hear some kind of distant, faded music. I'll bet you we were just picking up little bits the from radio. the radio. Yeah. yeah. So so where was the the camera or the recorder? The recorder. Went? Oh, it was inside? It was inside. That's why I said it was so... <laughs> Gabby! Wait, but sorry. Hey, Gabby. <laughs> okay. You can come in, Gabby. Okay. <laughs> so I had opened this window, and I had put the recorder right here with duct tape. Wow. So that was off, and your radio was going full bore. Oh, where's the recorder? No, I don't know where they left it. But, yeah, and the duct tape was was peeled off. <laughs> and it was laying on the bench seat and the radio <laughs> was on. Wow. And you have to, I'm sure they use their mind to turn it on. So. Something like that, yeah. Well, that's pretty neat. Just letting you know. Acknowledging that they knew that that recorder was there. So that's... then Virginia was sleeping and she was so freaked out I had to turn the generator on. <laughs> oh, poor kid. I was so bummed. Oh. Well, it was still, a, I'd say, a total success yeah, for a right? camp out. <laughs> Absolutely, all the stuff over here. Yeah, so cool. All right, and thank you. Duct tape. <laughs> Left it on the table. It was just completely torn off and in, laying next in to strips. it. strips. That's awesome. <laughs> right on. Isn't that cool? That you know, they, so had, cool. they had to have came in here to do that. Yeah, and considering we were and all, all sitting over here watching this seen? place. I mean, every, that's what basically what we did. We sat over there staring this way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No shadows. I mean, we were yeah. right and left. Yeah. Right on. That is so cool. Well, I guess that just solidifies the stash in a recorder thing that they just don't okay. like it. <laughs> All right. Snow. Did you see the, oh, the hill activity that's happened every night? Oh, my gosh. Look at that. It's really getting torn and up. We went up to the top. A couple of us did. Um... If you see this, look straight up, there's this down log right here, right? Lane. Yeah. 
Right behind it is a stump. Right there, you see the stump? Yeah. Right there, it, there is like a down spot where it goes down like this. Oh, like a little scoop behind it? And right in there, there's a log position, and there's three large rocks. Really? You cannot see anybody sitting there from anywhere around here, because we walked. Oh, yeah, That's what a perfect place to observe. Us. And, yeah, we looked at this yesterday. Look at how... Did you look and see if there's any prints we in this? Me and Yvonne went up. Wow, that is really being torn up here. Yeah, and this is right where they come down. So cool. Awesome. So here we are. It's our last minutes at our campsite. We are all packed up. It's all gone. Everybody's pretty much left. But we have one last story to share with you. Anna's going to tell us what she heard last night. So what happened? In the middle of the night, I was woken up by, like, stones. Over and over and over. And this went on for, I think, about 45 minutes. I went to use the restroom, and that's where it was the loudest. So I sat in there for a few minutes just listening. I prayed to flesh, flesh <laughs> because I thought it might make them go away. But after some time, I just went back to bed. I could still hear them, hear, hear the, the knocking. And to me, it was almost like they were trying to open something. It was just like down, you down, see down. A, a monkey, you know. Um, but it was went on for a long time. It was different. First, it would be knock, knock, knock. Then it would just be like one knock. And then just outside the camper. Wow. For a very long time. See, I did hear one big clack last night before I nodded off. And then when I got up here to the camp this morning, uh, the campsite where we all gather, Mike said, yeah, he'd heard knocking on the door, and Wait, that had woken him up, but he only just heard it a little bit. Uh -huh. And then that's when you came out and said, well, no, it went on a lot longer. It wasn't yes. more than just that. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Wow. Cool. It was very awesome. And I wasn't scared. Just like, wow. <laughs> We're well, waiting for it to stop, like maybe one of our fellow campers was doing it, but... Oh, about what time was it? Do you remember? I would say around 3 in the morning. Wow. That's when I usually wake up in the night. Wow. Cool. Yeah, very, very so, fun. So, a last final little experience. Yeah, that was my major experience of the, the whole camp out. Yeah, I don't think there's anybody that was here that didn't have some kind of an experience. No, no. Yeah. Absolutely it was, not. It was awesome. Yes. I can't wait for the next one. Yeah, me either. Me <laughs> okay. Either. Thank you.